This is the fifth episode, or video, of me reading How Not To Be A Dick. Okay, so, let's begin. Living with others. Being a good roommate does not mean you have to be perfect. It just requires that you pay attention, act consider- Oh, sorry. Act considerately, do your fair share, and don't lose your temper. When everyone else forgets to do some of things, of those things, but whether you're living with parents, siblings, friends, roommates, animals, or all of the above, there are a few basic rules that it, it also helps to bear in mind. I'd love to see a house that has all of the above living there. Probably be kind of cramped unless it's like a big mansion. Mind your manners. The words please and thank you are like magical fairy dust. Right, because everybody wants you to sprinkle your magic fairy dust all over them. They give us the power to brighten someone's day. Um, yeah, because, you know, compliments or saying other nice things that aren't pleasing, thank you, definitely won't brighten anybody else's day. When living with others, let them know you appreciate everything they do. You stole my pillow. Oh, but I appreciate you for it. <laughs> yeah, appreciate everything they do. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I'll just continue now. But be careful. Too much praise can make people self-conscious and suspicious of your motives. So don't overdo it. Sincerity is the key. Respectful behavior. It's not only what you say, it's what you do that counts. Please and thank you don't mean much if your behavior is rude or disrespectful. So first things first, always treat your living quarters with respect if it's not your name on the lease, you may think you can't be sued or evic evicted, but just because you didn't buy the couch doesn't mean you won't have to pay for it if you damage it. Also, act respectfully towards those you live with. Minimize your impact on others and keep things in order. So don't cling around in the kitchen while your roommate is asleep. That goes double if you're living with your parents. Yeah, but it'd actually probably get pretty boring in the kitchen. I mean, not so much stuff to do but make food or eat food. So... If you're living at home, it's time to double down on politeness and to be very conservative when it comes to your sense of decency. Your parents don't want to see you hitting on the girl from down the street. Yeah, well actually I'd probably be too shy to do that. I even find it hard to approach people sometimes, or a lot of the time, actually. So, yeah, that probably wouldn't be happening with me anyways. Communicate. No matter who you live with, don't treat them like pieces of furniture. Talk to them. Show some common courtesy. And let them know if you're going to have an overnight guest or if you're going away on a trip. After all, if they don't know you're 
hiking the Appaloochan Trail. They're likely to assume anything. I don't know where the Appaloochan Trail is. Yeah. Just as important, meet the roommates or your parents regularly to discuss your schedule and air any grievances. Though, um, actually, let me stop there. Actually, a lot of time it's really hard because most of the people who I've been with aren't very good listeners. Yeah, um, or at least they don't really like to hear your side of the story when they can just believe what they want to. So, it's it comes to seem like it's better to avoid them than confront them because you're only going to make things worse. Okay, enough about my sad life. Let's continue. Those you live with may be silently seething about your behavior, but you won't know unless you ask, most of all, if something you're doing might affect the household, let the household know. The thing is that I have tried. Yep. And yeah, like normally it doesn't, didn't work. Chip in. Naturally, in a roommate situation, everyone has to pay his or her fair share of the rent. Chipping in covers all the other things the household shares. Cleaning products, toilet paper and tissues, milk and other groceries, and so on. Be proactive about this. If you use something, help pay for it or take turns buying more at the grocery store. Mm. That would help if I had a job or something. Actually, you know, you can help. Uh, subscribe to this channel, like my videos, do that sort of stuff so I can get paid for YouTube so I can start paying for things myself. You know, that's uh, just a way you could help. <laughs> okay. Of course, times are hard. Maybe you don't have any extra money for the little things. You can still make up for it in other ways by doing more of the chores or instance or trading a skill you have. Maybe you don't have any money at all. Yeah, that's pretty much me. I mean, I get $40 a week. I mean, not a week. <laughs> Hardly. I get $40 a month, but yeah, that's actually pocket money. The other stuff does go towards um paying for being here and stuff like that. And so maybe you're living with your parents. That's okay. In the meantime, pitch in without forcing your parents to ask and they will respect you for the considerate person that you've become. Also, consider getting a job, even if jobs are scarce. At least submit some applications. Start building up the resume. Even a temporary job at the Burger Shack is a positive first step. Or YouTube. That would pay. I mean, if you have the um, subscribers and stuff, you do or will eventually start getting paid um, for like, for making videos and uploading videos. So yeah, the more you can show your parents that you're not mooching off them, the less tension there will be between you. At the table. 
Eating is a necessary part of human existence. Food gives us the energy we need to live, and usually it tastes good, but whether you prepared the meal or not, here are some mealtime basics. Chew with your mouth closed. Well, I do chew with my mouth closed, and I actually kind of find it um, annoying when people chew with their mouth opened. Not only does chewing with your mouth open sound disgusting, it looks barbaric. There are other ways to show the cook how much you like the food. Treat your lips like a cabin door. In winter, keep them closed. Yeah, but it's only like winter if you're like eating ice cream or something. Otherwise, if you're eating something hot, it would be more like summer. But that doesn't mean you should keep your mouth open when chewing. Be considerate. No matter how good the food is or how hungry you are, take your time while eating. Sit up straight and avoid slurping. If you find yourself making noise, slow down. Not every meal agrees with us. These internal arguments can ruin a meal. Cover your mouth if you must burp, and excuse yourself from the table if you need to pass gas. Mm. Actually, if you have to burp, just go to France. In France, it's actually considered a compliment. Burping is, like if you burp, it shows, it's or supposed to show that you like the meal. Or at least that's what the French believe, so. Take off your hat. Wearing a hat shades your eyes and makes it look like you don't want to be there. By removing your hat, you show respect for the people you are eating with. Do not spit on food to claim it. Yeah, that's kind of gross and really childish. And even gross if you are a child. It's gross and it's cheating. Okay. Well, I think I'll end this episode, uh, video here. So, yeah. Yeah. So, if you like this video, I guess give it a um, thumbs up. And subscribe if you want to see more off my channel. And as always, I guess, I hope you enjoyed. And, uh, you.